All right, so here we have it, my hill climb bike. Now this is the first actual hill climb bike. Uh, that video that I've done this year has changed a lot from last year. Some components are the same, some components are different. So obviously the frame itself, Els Vanyar, weighs 850 grams with all the parts on it, so like derailleur hat hanger, all that stuff. I've done a review of this previously. All right, so that's the frame. Forks are about 300 grams. I haven't weighed them since I've cut them, so that needs to be done. Uh, then we move up top to the handlebars. Pretty exciting to be honest. These are 265 gram AliExpress handlebars. Very light, 38 centimeters wide, 110 mil long. I think they're stiff, but my friend who's a big boy sprinter said maybe they're not stiff, but you know, when you're 50, 60 kilos-ish, uh, it's okay. All right, so moving on to the other exciting things, we've got the brakes, KCNC CB9 brakes. Very good in terms of stopping, in my opinion. I think they're pretty similar to 105, uh, which is the ones I had before. Uh, and apart from that, they're pretty light. They're about 200 grams of the pair, so big savings. I believe Jura is like 250 or something, and 105 is significantly heavier. They're about 100 pounds, so not too bad. Uh, what else do we have? Saddle, 85 gram AliExpress saddle. Again, very cheap, about 16 pounds. Not too uncomfortable. I've done about four or five hours on this boy now, uh, you know, and rides, and it seems to be okay. Uh, then we've also got the chain. Uh, the chain set itself is obviously Infocrank 42 tooth inner ring, uh, 42 tooth one by, uh, which is pretty good. I reckon best, best for most climbs, unless it's really steep. I might go down to a 40 for when it's just because it's a little bit lighter and also um, just be further on the cassette. Uh, the chain you might see and think, wow, that's outrageous. Well, it is. It's uh, a wax based chain, which I've done myself. Um, there's going to be a link in the description below from where you can buy a chain um, that I'll make and I'll send it out to you. Um, it's got PTFE coating to be super quick. Um, and yeah, really good in terms of like speed and also because it keeps the drive chain really clean. Uh, it is also a dual race chain because those are the fastest. I run that just for races, but yeah, uh, not bad. Cassette, again, outrageous, which is uh, the Zito cassette. It's 220 grams for an 1132 cassette, so very light uh, and also looks sick. I mean, who doesn't want a purple cassette? Um, apart from that, again, quick release skewers, those are about 40 grams ish, so very light. Then, last but not least, the big boy Envies. Uh, they're 70 mil front, 78 rear. Questionable for hill climbs, but these are just my wheels that I use for like, well, just cruising around in the summer and also for time trials. I've got some hill climb tubs on the way. They should be coming for my next hill climb, which is in two weeks' time. They're a kilo for the pair. These are quite weighty, 1.6 kilos, uh, which does build, uh, add the add to the weight of the bike significantly um, and then also seat posts like 130 grams from AliExpress. Um, tires, I've got just standard butyls in there which is heavy I know uh, and also Continental GP5K on the front, Schwab on the back, uh, no real reason, both glass tires um, and then pedals again are Welgo pedals, they're like light-ish, like 250 grams. I've tried to get some other pedal sponsors but people don't want to seem to want to give me some pedals. I might get some AliExpress pedals and get like fake time ones which are about 100 and oh no they're like 87 grams per pair which is a lot lighter than these these are about 230 their look um knockoff looks they do the job um but yeah that's pretty much it for the bike uh i'm just going to go home and weigh it i think it should be about 6.6 kilos which is not horrendous um but not terrible either uh sorry not great either for a hill climb bike which has got one by and a lot of lightweight stuff but the wheels really add a lot and when i get to the tubs it should be sub six. Oh, and last but not least my bottom bracket is sm batai again link below he gave he gave me one um for free it was really good uh like super super good installation is a similar to a hambinian installation video is going to be coming when he releases the website fully at the moment um he's just fine finishing the website off but i'm going to put a little link a little video here of how well it spins it's outrageous how well it spins um and really would rate it it makes the bike get so much stiffer and i'm going to do a full review on the elves in a bit uh, but yeah it, the bottom bracket it ships with would not use and last but not least we've got some funny cabling here I'm probably going to cable the whole bike when I can be bothered uh, and they're just um, AliExpress again cables and then ETAP everywhere else which is standard which is what I run all year round and I've got a rear light as well which is a bit heavy but we'll include that uh, in a bit so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this video um, obviously let me know any obvious upgrades that you think I should do in order to reduce the weight of my bike uh, let me know and if any of you want to give me some coin to buy some light pedals or anything then that would be very much appreciated. But anyway, cheers for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.